台积电董事长张忠谋今年喊出了物联网将会是半导体产业下一个发展的关键之后，物联网也成为市场众所瞩目的焦点。不只是台湾的厂商竞相争逐商机，国外的大厂更是早已经抢先布局。而到底这物联网的商机有多大呢？来看看今天的关键对话。关键时刻掌握关键对话。大家好，我是楚文。我手上戴着智慧手环，带着它往前走几步路，智慧手机就会同步更新我走路的步数，帮我做好健康管理。这就是现在最夯的物联网的概念。而手环可以做到如此，就是因为它里头搭载了密密麻麻的半导体晶片。因此，有人说，物联网将会是带动半导体产业成长的下一个重要关键。真的是如此吗？我们今天非常荣幸邀请到了全球第五大的半导体厂意法半导体的执行副总裁 Ben 来接受我们的专访。我们一起来欢迎 Ben。Hello, nice to meet you, Ben. Hi, Ashley. Hi, everyone. Today we want to talk about the Internet of Things. We know that the business opportunity of Internet of Things has been the hot topic this year. A lot of experts expect that Internet of Things will change the industry, market, business model, and will be the growth momentum of semiconductor industry. Do you agree with this? I think that the Internet of Things is definitely a new, a new trend in the semiconductor industry. Internet of Things means、uh, a little bit of everything. It means、uh, electronics. That is spread、uh, everywhere in the world, around us, in the house, in the factory, in the cities. It represents a new wave of opportunities for semiconductor players, because semiconductor players are in a situation where、uh, the smartphone industry is、uh, becoming a little bit old. It's not growing with the same pace like in the past. So people are looking for new things, and the Internet of Things is definitely a new opportunity, not only for semiconductors. But also for the overall ecosystem. So, will it really be the strong growth momentum for a semiconductor industry like a smartphone? I think it will still need three to four years to be to to represent a size that is、uh, comparable with the smartphone.、Uh, you you can find different market analysts. They say that this will be about a trillion dollar industry for sure. It will.、Uh, Drive the semiconductor. It will drive also the services, the cloud services. For semiconductor, I think、uh, that at the time you need to reach something in the range of 100 billion dollars. It still needs、uh, four or five years to go. Four or five years. Yeah, because there is also the services, and also because the, 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 the people need to understand the real value of this Internet of Things for them. And usually, for the adoption of the new technologies, it takes some time. You may remember the smartphone. It took a few years. For the people to understand the values of、uh, of、uh, the smartphone, and we see that ST has gracefully seized the opportunity of Internet of Things. So, what's your strategy and what's your plan? Now we see the emergence of this new trend, Internet of Things. We are investing there. Honestly, since a few years, it's not something that we are doing now. We were also very pleased to see a recent report of IHS that is quoting ST as the number one in wearable. More than 25% market share in wearable is coming is is、uh, under our control. This is a very recent report, and we are very proud to do this. And I think one of the reason, or maybe the main reason, why we are able to be a lead to have a leading position in the、uh, wearable is because we are having different kind of products, and we are able to address all the blocks of the wearable. So we have sensor, we have low power microcontroller. We have a wireless interface, and we have smart energy management. Again, if you make a bracelet, for example, you want to make sure that this bracelet stays there for a while. You don't need to charge it, let's say, every minute. Okay? So we are number one. We are investing. We believe in it. We believe that after the wearable, other smart things will come, and we want to lead over there. So, how do you see the role of Taiwan's、uh, semiconductor industry in the IoT field? I think that Taiwan is a, a great opportunity in this field. IoT, you can also think like、uh, a miniaturized、uh, <laughs> PC, where basically、uh, Taiwan has been leading since decades. I think that uh, Taiwan, uh, with uh, all the semiconductors, with all the testing and assembly. The packaging capability can play an important role for IoT, and、uh, we, ST, we want to have,、uh, we want to play very closely with the players here, because we recognize the importance 
and uh, the role that Taiwan will have in this uh, IoT. But we know that ST um, has recently announced that your collaboration with Samsung in the 28 nanometer technology. So we are curious about that. Is that means uh, you will more collaborate with Korea than with Taiwan? Well, this is a, a nice question. I think we have partner. Uh, uh, we have and we will have partner in different parts of the world. The FDSOI cooperation we announced with uh, Samsung uh, is. Uh, something that uh, let's say we started over there but we have other important initiatives that we have here in taiwan we have cooperation with uh, uh, startups to bring the iot to the market but we are also working closely with semiconductor and uh, assembly houses here in taiwan to to to, to develop new interesting products for the future as well as we are working with other companies in Europe to do other things. Again, the market is so big, the opportunity is so big that we, there is a spot, a space for different kind of partnership. How does the partnership that ST with Taiwan's partner? And will you more collaborate with Taiwanese company for any go of it? But as I said, we are working with different kind of Taiwanese companies. We are working with uh, at least three kind of companies. We are working with companies that are doing uh, the final, for example, IoT, or the final product. We are uh, we have very good cooperation with companies very strong in power management here in Taiwan. We are also working with uh, uh, semiconductor manufacturers. We are uh, uh, using their services, and we are also talking closely with them as well as we are working with uh, assembly and testing houses to uh, bring their expertise to enrich our product. So, as I said, we, are, uh, uh, we believe a lot in the cooperation, in partnership with Taiwan companies. And uh, Taiwan, uh, if I remember well, is uh, driving more or less uh, uh, one over five dollars of semiconductors, no? around 60 billion dollars out of 320, 330 billion dollars these are the figures 2013. In 2014, even more uh, advantages for Taiwan is coming from here. So Taiwan is important, and we have to be very close. Then we work with different kinds of partners. And after a strong growth of semiconductor industry uh, in the market this year, do you expect that it will continue growing in the following two years? I think there are, uh, let's say, I have, a, I have a, in, in this period, I see some kind of um, doubt because of this geopolitical situation we have overall. We have a little bit too many unknown situations. I mean, the situation in, in Europe with this uh, Russia-Ukraine story is not so simple. Euro is not uh, growing so much. You see also the data of Germany, the GDP is not uh, growing uh, like in the previous month. So I, I think uh, Maybe I'm less op optimistic than the, 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 the number that you get uh, from, the other, uh, from the market analyst. 2014, we know, has been a very good grow here. 2015, I am uh, of the opinion that will grow less as a semiconductor overall, will grow less than what market reports say. So I'm more in favor of uh, 3 to 4%, more than uh, 5 to 6%, because there are a lot of unknown situations in the world. Obviously, some sector like IoT will continue to grow more because they are still small. From your view and from your prediction, which market will be the biggest market in the semiconductor industry in the following years? For sure, be in Asia. <laughs> for sure, not be in uh, in Europe, <laughs> at least for the next two three years. I think that uh, China and uh, Taiwan will represent a big part. For Korea is a is already a big. Uh, semiconductor market, but in terms of final customer, for sure, I mean, China represents a big, big market, and uh, we are focusing a lot of our attention on Asia. Will ST one day more collaborate with, with Chinese uh, semiconductor company than Taiwanese company? I, I think I, when, when we talk about competition, we are, I think, to associate a word that is nimbleness. Nimbleness, it means that you cannot decide now what you're going to do in a few months from now. This is the beauty of the semiconductor industry. You have to be fast adapting to the situation that is changing around you. So there are many opportunities. It depends on the product, on the business conditions, <laughs> on many things. I think that uh, the beauty, again, of this industry, that is since it is changing pretty fast, 
if you want to be successful, you need to understand fast and to adapt even faster. Thank you, Ben. 虽然跟智能手机相比，物联网只是一个刚刚起步的市场。不过，因为它跟穿戴式装置紧密结合，让这个市场的成长性更加的有想象空间。而未来半导体市场的成长将会专注于在亚洲。台湾能不能够继续在半导体市场上发光发热，就看我们有没有抓紧机会。